the 9th of August 1971, former Wheels editor Mel Nichols and staff photographer Uwe Kirstner took what is probably the most famous shot in the entire Wheels archive collection, that of the GDHO Phase 3 doing 141 miles an hour down the Hume Highway in Northern Victoria. In 2014, speeds like that simply aren't possible without being locked up for a considerable amount of time. So with the assistance of the Northern Territory Government, the police, an ambulance crew, a helicopter, full road closure of the Stuart Highway, you name it, we are attempting to repeat that illustrious performance in the very last full performance vehicles Falcon, the GTF. The fastest we've ever been in an FPV is 255 kilometres an hour. That also happens to be the speed that this GTF is electronically limited to. So we've had the limiter removed and we've brought along racing legend John Bow to try and clock 300 kilometres an hour. The reason why JB is doing this and not someone like me is that JB has won Bathurst twice. He's won more races than any other racing driver in Australian history and he's the current Touring Car Masters champion. We also know he's extremely competitive and he, more than anybody, will want to hit that 300 kilometre an hour mark. I drove the car down at the proving ground and it was so quick to do the speed limiter, which is 255. You know, these cars, these modern cars, and I don't just mean the Falcon, most modern cars are so good. I just, you know, the way this all came together was to see how fast it was. It's quite exciting to drive it, even though I've driven that fast before, but you know, it's a, it's a road car on a road, not a racetrack and not a race car, so it's a bit different. We've enlisted the help of Rob Herod from Herod Motorsport to make sure that this car is as bulletproof as possible to do 300 kilometres an hour on a road like this that is absolutely not designed to have any car do 300 kilometres an hour. Our team's preparation was to prepare this vehicle and to make sure that everything was right and everything was safe. It's had some dyno runs on our dyno, the speed limit has been taken off this vehicle. No other modifications at all to the vehicle bar the speed limiter. Mechanically wise, apart from that, there's no engine tweaks or anything like that. It's just basically as the car rolled off the, off the showroom floor. I'm not for a minute suggesting anybody should do this, get their speed limiter removed and drive it to the Northern Territory. The roads are not really that straight, but they're not really designed for 300 kilometre an hour speeds. And I guess, you know, the cars aren't either to the sense that they put a speed limiter on them for a reason, but you know, the car is a very good car, its performance, its engine is outstanding. So we set out to make history and we did it. 297 kilometres an hour. The fastest recorded standard Australian production car of all time, the FPV GTF. Compared to the GHO Phase 3's 227, it is miles into the future. The driver was legendary racer John Bow. 297 kilometres an hour isn't quite the 300 that JB wanted to achieve, or any of us really, but given the conditions, it's windy, it's mid 30s, it's the Northern Territory, it's not really made for 300. So 297 out of a Falcon is hugely impressive.